obviously this isn't my car. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm stealing Chris's car for today because she's got to work, and I, well, I'm supposed to work. But... Yeah, no, that sounds like a terrible idea. So today we're going back to tier three. We're gonna finish up what we started. The exhaust in this car is starting to come along. I mean, it sounds a hell of a lot better than stock. Let's see here. Get a little audio of it. <laughs> it really doesn't sound bad. I've heard a lot of uh, YouTube videos where people cut the exhaust off this car and it sounds like absolute crap. And I'll be honest when I say it, I was a little sketched out when we cut it off the first time. But it, it sounds pretty good. But it, we gotta go deeper into it because Carissa at one point with this car had a check engine light and that was caused by the catalytic converter being clogged. And the easiest way to fix that is get rid of the catalytic converter. <laughs> so we're going back to tier three. We're gonna fab up our own, uh, our own custom downpipe. And I mean, for those of you who are thinking just run it with just a downpipe and the exhaust that we have now, don't do it. That's a terrible idea. After that, we're gonna have to get this car tuned up, which I've been itching to do ever since she had this car, because there's a lot of hidden ponies in here. I can guarantee you that much, but first things first, let's finish up this project here. It needs more loud. <laughs> well, you came to the right place. All right. Are we just going to take the downpipe right off the turbo and run it? I think so. Wasn't that your plan? That was my plan. <laughs> I don't know if it was her plan, but it can be our plan. Well, listen, she doesn't need to know. It's <laughs> no, surprise. It's obnoxious. So we're going out the hood. Absolutely. That'd be amazing, actually. Yes. I'd like to see anybody else try that. Another hole for her to freak out about. <laughs> Alright, we have the clamp removed. It's gonna uh, remove the charge pipe here from the turbo. And uh, let's just open up some room to get at the O2 sensor inside of there. Oh, there we are. Nice. Yeah, this car is not that old. It shouldn't be rusted on that bad, he says. <laughs> I don't know, it looked like you had to work pretty hard for it. <laughs> hey, we're getting in there, though. <gasps> uh, break out the extensions. <laughs> All 42 feet that we're gonna need. Oh, we'll find that later. Yeah, find what? <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, see? Here's the plan. This is what was in Carissa's car, and it's way too big and bulky, and it just looks stupid. So we're gonna basically cut off that shit and that shit and this welded on that shit and that shit and then we're gonna take that shit and remake that on that shit and yeah. It's a lot of bleeps that were in there, weren't there? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's Hey, is it bad if I smell toast? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Make sure we 
figure out O2 position. Even though one of these O2s is gonna, only going to be used during the tune, still want to get it close. Yeah. So here's one thing that I'm noticing: the pipe that, uh, or yeah, the pipe that Mike just built. Looking it up on eBay. They're trying to sell that for about 200 bucks. Like which is what Mike just made. Mike, how much do you think it costs you to make the pipe that you just made? 199. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's like a 50 bucks, you know? It, yeah. It doesn't cost that much. But well, you, looking at the picture, I mean, it doesn't take much in yours. I mean, yeah, it's not as pretty, but who the hell's gonna be looking at it anyway? Well, the only difference between what they're doing is they're tapering the end of the exhaust back down to meet like factory here. Yeah. Which, I mean, a quarter inch difference isn't really gonna matter when you're stepping down the exhaust size. However, like if she ever decides to get like an actual cat back, the fact that w that won't step down is only gonna increase flow into like a quality cat pack. <laughs> So apparently the stuff Mike is spraying on this is just a miracle worker. Yeah, it tastes really good too. It's <laughs> spray on copper, from what I understand. Yeah, it just helps like any metal gasket like get freshened up, adds a little sticky seal to it. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. So here we have a fully completed flute. You just put oh. this piece to your mouth here. Is, is that from uh, Legend of Zelda? That was beautiful, Clark. <laughs> you can buy me dinner now? Ah, probably, yeah. <laughs> yes. So much easier when there's not that huge Cadillac converter right in your phone. Right? I'm actually kind of nervous to know how loud it's gonna be. Dude, it's gonna be floating pretty good. Oh, gee. Kind of like my Mustang when we took out the cats. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but four banger rice sound coming out. Oh, you can actually hear the turbo now. Definitely a lot louder. No, <laughs> it sounds good, dude. Oh yeah. It almost sounds good. It sounds for a four bay. It sounds awesome. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad. Not at all. All right, well, that's where we're gonna leave it for today. Give it a few weeks of my time. This thing's going on the dyno. What do you think it'll make? It makes 200 of the crank right now. Factory 210. At the wheels. To the wheels. To the wheels. To the wheels. I'd, I'd agree probably 2.5 to 2.10 with the tune on at the wheels. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say 2.30. Oh. Gentleman's bet $20? I'd just buy you beer if I'm wrong. Still got beer from the last time. Well, I'll <laughs> buy you more beer. <laughs> I already had one. <laughs> That's why they're here, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's actually not bad. No, I was expecting like a uh, Civic Racer sound to it, but. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that too. I was really hoping that it didn't sound like a Honda, but. Almost a little, kind of like a mix between a Honda and a Subaru. Yeah, Best way to put of, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with that. Or like a Subaru with, with a, um, a ink, an equal ink header on it. Yeah. yeah, one with an unequal leak header sounds like a misfire, but one that has an equal leak header yeah. sounds pretty similar to that Veloster in my opinion. So, pretty cool though. Done. Yeah. I'll take it. I'm excited to put it on the dyno though, dude. Yeah.